Hello and welcome to the session in which we would look at the three tax rate structure which are progressive, proportional and regressive and I will also discuss marginal as well as average tax rate. Before I start, if you're a CPA candidate, I would like to remind you to check out my website, farhatlectures.com. I don't replace your CPA review course, whether you're taking Wiley, Glime, Roger, or any other course. I can be a useful addition. I can help you add 10 to 15 points to your CPA exam score by explaining the material a little bit different. Look, here's your risk. Your risk is one month of, one month of subscription. Your return is possibly passing your exam are you willing to take that risk and if not for anything check out my website to see how well or not well your university doing on the cpa exam and i do have resources for other college courses please connect with me on linkedin and on linkedin you can check out my recommendation other people recommendation that they used my system to succeed please like this recording share it connect with me on facebook and instagram so let's talk about the three tax structure and the first one is progressive what is a progressive tax structure well our system our federal income tax system is progressive it means the tax rate increases as the tax base increase simply put the more money you make the more taxes you pay this is what progressive is it progresses up as you pay it goes up the more the more you make the more you pay Okay, example is the US income tax system. The best way to illustrate this concept is to look at an example. Mary and George are married, file a joint return and have a taxable income of 335,000. For a given year, this is how their tax liability will be computed. For example, the first 19,750, they will pay on this first amount 10%. And this will amount to $1,975. Now, the next dollar that they earn above 17, 19,750, between 19,750 and 80,250. So this is the where we call the next bracket. So the next bracket, let's see how much it is. So I'm going to take 80,250 minus 19,750. That's 60,500. So the next 60,500, they will pay 12%. So notice. The, the rate, the rate, the rate went up by 2%, went from 10 to 12%. Then every extra dollar they earn above 80,250 up to $170,050. Again, you can compute the bracket here. They will pay actually, then it goes up 10%. Notice it's progressive. And this will amount to 19,976. 19, any amount they earn above 17150 up to 326600 they will pay 24% and any amount from 3 uh, from 326600 up to 335 they'll pay they'll be in the 32 32% tax bracket and any amount above this above this um, above this amount it will be a new tax bracket so simply put notice the progressivity of the tax of the tax now what you need to understand is the following is we have something called the marginal tax rate so what is the marginal tax rate and the marginal tax rate is related to progressive basically it's the proportional tax that the taxpayer pays on the last dollar of the taxable income it means the rate that they pay on the last dollar of taxable income so in this situation, if I ask you, what is the marginal tax rate for Mary and George? Well, what was the rate? What's the proportion? We're going to look at the, what proportional means. It means what's the flat tax rate? Proportional means flat. What is the tax rate that they paid on the under their last dollar? And the answer will be 32%. So the last dollar they earned, they pay 32 cent of it in federal tax. This is called the marginal tax rate. Okay. Now, if you make a lot of money, you will be in the marginal tax rate, 32%. We have to differentiate the marginal from the average tax rate. What is the average tax rate? Simply put, how much you paid in total taxes, how much you paid in total taxes. Well, simply put, it's the percentage that a payer pays given a certain amount of taxable income. So Mary and George, in total, they are responsible for paying 69000 Two hundred thirty-one dollars, and they made three hundred and thirty-five thousand. Now we can find what is their 
what's their average on average how much they pay for all their taxes we know they're marginal we know that they paid on their last dollar 32 percent that's their marginal their average we're going to compute the average now 69,231 divided by 335 and their average tax rate is 20.66 percent so if i ask you what is their average tax rate you will take how much they paid in total divided by the taxable income what is their marginal tax rate is 32 percent so what happens sometime in the news they they kind of confuse you they they quote a rate but they don't tell you whether it's the marginal or the average because always the average is lower than the marginal the average tax rate so that's that's those two terms you need to be familiar with the difference between marginal and average now the next tax uh, tax structure we're going to be looking at is proportional so proportional what is proportional simply put it just we just kind of mention it it's a flat the same the same tax rate is used regardless of how much money you make so it's for example 10 percent 15 percent and whatever you make ten dollars hundred dollars ten thousand or ten million you'll pay a flat rate examples of this will be the state for example in pennsylvania the rate is 3.07 or your local tax rate for example my local my local sale my local sales tax is my state tax sales tax is six percent flat also medicare which we'll see later is 2.9 percent this is what proportional tax rate is it, it means it does not change regardless so if you made a hundred dollar one thousand dollar if you have a taxable income of a hundred thousand you'll pay the same rate whatever that rate is six percent five percent this is what this is what we called proportional tax rate and the third tax rate is regressive tax rate and what is a regressive tax rate well regressive kind of opposite of the progressive the tax rate decreases as the tax base increases so simply put the more you make the lower is your tax that's how it works it's the kind of thing regressive as the opposite of progressive progressive is the more you make the more you pay regressive the more you make kind of the less you pay now what could be an example of regressive well social security the social security tax is considered a regressive now why is why is it considered a regressive here's why and we're going to talk about this later on when you make when you earn your income in the u.s well, up to a point, you'll pay Social Security. And for a given year, let's assume the limit is 137,000, uh, just for the sake, 700. And this number will change every year. So although I'm telling you, maybe this is for this year, but this will change the next year or the year after or whatever. Now, the rate is 6.2%. So if you, let's assume you made, let's assume for the sake of illustration, you made, uh, Let's assume you made 100,000. Well, if you made 100,000, we're gonna take 100,000 times 6.2%, you are responsible for paying 6,200 in social security. And your tax rate is 6.2%. That's fine. Let's assume you made 137,700. Well, we're gonna take 137,700, multiply it by, multiply it by, let's see, 0.062 which is 6.2 percent you will pay eight thousand five hundred thirty seven thousand and forty dollars this is how much you pay in social security let me tell you something if this is the amount if this is the limit it means that's the maximum amount you'll pay in social security let's assume an individual made two hundred and fifty thousand guess what's going to happen every dollar you are going to earn above 137,700. Every one dollar you earn, it's Social Security tax free. What does that mean? It means although you made, although you, your earnings are 250,000, you are only going to pay this amount. So you stop paying taxes. What does that mean? It means if we take eight thousand five hundred thirty-seven dollars and forty cent divided by 250,000, and notice what happened as you earn more. As you earn more, if we take 8537.4 8537.4 and divided by 250,000 for somebody who made 250,000 your rate is 3.41%. So notice what happened to your rate as you made more money your tax rate your social security tax rate went down. Now if you made a million dollar a lot of people make million dollar even your tax rate is lower. So the more you pay 
the, the, the more you earn, the less is your rate. Now, we'll talk later on about the social security a little bit more in details. Why is it? Why does it work that way? And we need to a little bit more about its computation, about its limitation, so on and so forth. But this is an example of a regressive tax rate, regressive tax rate. Regressive tax rate is considered unfair. It's considered unfair because think about it the more you make the less you the, the the lower is your the lower is your rate so basically just make sure you are familiar with those terms usually they are covered in an introduction to income tax course once again i would like to remind you if you're a cpa candidate to check out my website farhatlectures.com for additional resources for your cpa exam just check out my linkedin that's all what i suggest if you have any doubts good luck study hard and most importantly stay safe